just going on to year 12, the um, simple mechanical advantage equals efficiency times velocity ratio. I think it's in the back of your exam as efficiency equals mechanical advantage on velocity ratio. I can't remember which one it is. Um, mechanical advantage, as you know, is load divided by the effort. If a machine is designed to amplify load, carry more load than your effort, then mechanical advantage is more than one because it gives you an advantage. If it's a catapult designed to um, accelerate velocity at the expense of load, then you might have 100 kilograms for 2,000 kilograms of effort. Mechanical advantage is significantly lower than one. So that's that. Velocity ratio, distance moved by the effort, divided by the distance moved by the load. The mechanical advantage is efficiency times velocity ratio. Let's have a look at an example from the year 12 exam last year, or the HSC exam last year. We had a simple seesaw with two kids sitting on it. One was 25 kilograms, one was 20 kilograms. The, um, Fulcrum is in the middle with each child being two metres apart. Key point I want to mention, the velocity ratio of a machine never changes for the HSC purposes. There are items such as variable ratio gearbox where it does change, but they're well outside the um, HSC. Um, if I move that down one metre, this moves up one metre. It actually travels in a circle. So if that travels down one metre in a circle, that travels up one metre in a circle because they're the same radius. Distance moved by the effort equals distance moved by the load. In this case, distance on the effort divided by distance moved by the load equals two on two equals one. That's our velocity ratio for this example. The mechanical advantage, it says the pivot is corroded and reduces efficiency by 25%. So let's assume we started out with a highly efficient seesaw. So nu equals 1 minus 0 0.25 equals 0.75%. So the efficiency is 0.75. Please remove the percent. It's 75% efficiency or 0.75. Efficiency is 1 minus 0.25 is 0.75. Mechanical advantage equals efficiency times velocity ratio equals 0.75 times 1 equals, oddly enough, it's 0.75. So the correct answer in the HSC was B. That's the worked example of question 13 in 2019 HSC. That is the simple application of efficiency to machine calculations.